Hi YouTube, this is Gene. Well, today I want to show you some of the items I take on every camping trip in my Toyota 4Runner. These are roadside assist type items and I uh, just want to share this information with you and hopefully um, it will help someone out. Alright, so just a quick overview first. Um, I always take a AAA road, roadside assist kit here. Um, I also take a NOCO Genius jump starter pack here. Also take a Viair 300P portable air compressor. And um, I also take an inexpensive tire repair kit. And finally, I take some Lynx um, levelers uh, to use when I need them. So, just to kind of go through in more detail uh, on each item, um, this is a real basic roadside assist kit, um, AAA, I think it's what it said on it. And uh, it's got some jumper cables with it. Um, it's got a small um, first aid kit that comes with it right there. And then a poncho and some inexpensive items in here. Um, it also came with this nice little flashlight. So the bag is a perfect size. It's got a nice little handle. It's good quality. And uh, so I take that on every trip. And I usually put this jump, in fact, I always put this jump pack starter kit inside this bag. This is um, my jump pack starter. Um, it's made by NOCO. Genius. It's a GB40 and um, it's lithium. See, turn it on here and you'll see that light up here. There you go. That shows the charge. This thing has a, a number of good features to it. Turn it back off here. Uh, first of all, it's lithium and um, it's small compared to the old traditional large size jump packs that you used to buy. Um, this one's very small, lightweight. Um, it's got a couple of lights here on the end. It comes with these portable little um, jump clips here. And these plug into the end of it here. And uh, I've used this. I used this a couple of months ago to help a woman uh, jump start her car. Her battery had died and actually this had I hadn't charged it in a long time. It had gone down to just about between 25 and 50 percent here is all the charge I had left in it and I turned it on, hooked it up to her to her car battery and she started right up so it worked very well. Um, the other really good feature about it is but this thing charges via USB and um, it's easy just to you know plug in a USB cable and charge this back up. Um, it's got there's the USB in it also has the USB out um, so you can use this as an external battery pack to also charge a phone or lights or whatever you need to. So there's the light button to it. There you go. I think the lights have a couple of modes but you can see one of the lights there. Let's turn this off. Um, it came with this little cigarette plug which has a USB port in it. It also came with this nice carry bag here, small. So what I do is put everything in this bag and uh, pack it in here in my AAA kit and it uh, works out really well. So that's the roadside kit, the NOCO Genius jump starter. And then this is a portable air compressor. It's uh, made by Vi Air. It's a model 300P, I believe. And um, I've used it a lot. I use it um, 
anytime I need to air down my tires on an off-road trip, um, I'll use this little tire pressure gauge to let the air out of my tires and get it the pressure at what I want. And then I'll do my off-roading. Um, and then when I'm ready to air back up, I'll use this portable air compressor and it works really well. Um, these clip onto your, you open your hood and you clip these onto your car battery. And um, let's see here. Here's the switch, the on off switch right there. You just flip it on and uh, then you connect this to your tire and you start airing up your tire and it's got a nice gauge here you can see that gauge and you just watch until it fills up back to the pressure that you want your tires aired up to so yeah I just I hook these up to the battery and then I set the unit down on the ground either on the front driver's side and do those two tires and then I move it over to the front passenger side and I fill up, air up those two tires. And like I say, I've used it a number of times. Anza Brego, uh, I've used it at Joshua Tree. Um, I've used it up in the White Mountains. And I also used it quite a bit in my last trip to Death Valley, the northern part of Death Valley. So, there is one thing, it gets hot after you've used it to air up all your tires and so uh, what I do this is the case it comes in I just set it back in this case like this set it in here and leave the top open and set it in the back of my forerunner and just let air get to it and let it cool down but it does get pretty hot anyways it's been excellent I'm very glad I've had it and I use it a lot Let's see, a couple of other things. This is an inexpensive uh, tire repair kit. I've cut the top of it off, but I think the company that makes it is called Slime, S-L-I-M-E, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I have not needed to use it yet, um, but I think these are plastic. Yeah, these are plastic handles. I've had it in case I'm in an emergency, but I'm going to upgrade it. Uh, to a little better kit with some metal steel handles on it. But anyways, I think this is an essential item that's uh, easy to take with you in case you ever need it. Uh, let's see. Tire pressure gauge, LED flashlight that came with this roadside kit here. Um, I use this a lot actually in the front cab of my truck. Final thing, um, these are just an extra here. Um, but for camping on unlevel surfaces, these Lynx levelers um, have worked pretty good. Uh, I've used them a number of times. And uh, you just stack them up like Legos, kind of, and then drive your vehicle up on them. And uh, so I wanted to show those. Um, I also, in addition to those Lynx levelers, I use these two Tuba 6s here. Um, there they are and I, I take those for two reasons number one I can use them to level out my vehicle when I need to um, and also I take them if I ever have a flat and I'm in sand or mud I can put those down under an axle and set my bottle jack on these and have a solid surface to use my jack on to lift up the vehicle um, so I always take those. So, this is a very basic kind of roadside assist kit. The whole package, all these items. Um, I use this air pressure gauge a lot on every trip, usually before, during, and after. And, um, let's see what else. I've used this. Like I say, it's worked very well. I've used this a lot very well. All right. 
so thank you all for watching and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you have any questions about any of these items please leave them in the comments below the video and I'll do my best to reply all right so I think that's it for today thank you all for watching I will see you next time take care